Hello everyone and let's do a book talk for Horror Hotel. This was set in Cal Los Angeles, California. It was written by Victoria Fulton and Faith McLaren and it was published in 2022. Uh, this is actually book number one and looks like a duology so far. This is a young adult and it is a horror paranormal. Uh, this one basically think I see dead people but it's a teenage girl about 16 17 ish, something around there. Um, if you've heard of the Cecil Hotel, it very much gives those vibes. When I read this book, there was an audiobook available, and there's a, it's like a full cast. It's told in first person. It is six hours and 24 minutes on standard one time speed. And we have the following narrators Leanna Bertrand, Hannah Choi, Mer de Duija. I know I said that wrong, I'm sorry. David Lee. Hun? Hun? I don't know. And Keeler Lee. So there's at least... So that's one, two, three, four, five narrators for this book. And that's pretty good. Uh, so this one we're following this group of teenagers as they decide to go to this hotel that is haunted. And they want to see if they can see ghosts and communicate with the dead, figure out who's been killing people. Things like that. And of course with teenagers they get into trouble in a young adult book. Um, but of course they don't face the consequences like would happen in an adult book a lot of the times. So yeah, uh, this one girl can see and hear ghosts. And she can wear, like if she wears a hat and layers it, it tends to muffle things a little bit. Um, if she wears multiple hats, the more muffled things get. But yeah. Uh, this one, we do have um, this guy who is attracted to one of the girls, but he's <sighs> doesn't put himself out there to show that he's attracted to her. And there's also a female-female relationship, so there is LGBT rep in this. As far as other representation, you have... Um, Depression mentioned as well as I guess a little bit of racial diversity. Maybe it doesn't say what race or ethnicity It just says that someone has dark brown skin and that is your Representation in this book as far as your content and trigger warnings you have blood gore racism uh, And you have death of parents mentioned as well so these kids they just go and uh, investigate this hotel they go and the owners of this hotel seem very cagey, very shady, think these kids are up to no good. Um, some people, there's other groups of people in this uh, hotel as well. And they meet someone from Australia at some point, and he tends to join their little group to help them investigate. And like many horrors, it's best to go in and find these twists and turns by yourself. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. They're just investigating a hotel, seeing the dead people. And as they get closer to uncovering the ultimate issue that they're there to uncover, the more strange things start to happen. The more someone's life is more at risk each time, and the louder the voice, voices of the ghosts is in this book. So, that is this book in a nutshell. Think, again, it just gives Cecil Hotel vibes. Um, so yeah, just very much that. It's not based on that. I don't know if it's inspired by the Cecil Hotel, but those are the vibes that it gives. Okay, so that's what it's about. That's your representation and your content and your trigger warnings. Now the edition that I read was 237 pages. So amongst that 237 pages, we have the following words. Fuck, nine. Ass, three. Damn, five. The name Jesus, seven, not in a religious context. The name Christ, three times, not in a religious context. God's Forsaken, twice. Damned, three. Dick, three. AF, two. Asshole, two. Piss, six. Screwing, six. Douchebag, once. Super douche, once. Bullshit, twice. Virgin, once. Dumbass, once. Bloody, twice. Penis, once balls twice, the name God four times, used in religious context, and bastard twice. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is the four characters we are following are 
Chrissy. She is the one that can see and hears the ghosts, and at times seems like she can hear other people's thoughts. We have Kiki, who has the it factor, so the popular girl, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Chase, who wants to be um, a million subbed YouTuber, so it is mentioned, and eventually wants to make his way to Hollywood. And then we have Emma, who likes dark, or who likes not dark, uh, data science. Said that way wrong, but likes data science. So those are your four characters, and that's that group of friends. Uh, and yeah, so let me know if you have read this. Again, there is a second book. Um, I don't know if it's following different characters or what, but it looks like, according to the cover that I have seen, it is a boat set at sea. And where I have thalassophobia, I'm sure that will just add a little extra layer of horror for me. Let me know if you've read Horror Hotel or if this is one that is a pass for you. Definitely let me know. Talk to me in the comments section below. And until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I will talk to you later.